Greetings and welcome. Now, I don't often plug stuff on my channel, but uh, I've, I've got a little bit of a following. You guys seem to like my videos and you know what? I'm shamelessly going to go out there and say that you guys might be able to help me out. Now, the city of Brighton that I love so dearly uh, is constantly under threat. Its music scene is constantly under threat. One of the one of the cultural, the greatest things about this city is its incredible live music scene. It's just as important to the residents as the pavilion, as the pier, as the beach, as seagulls, all this stuff. The music scene is incredible in Brighton. And the reason it's so good is because you have an abundance of music venues like the Prince Albert, like the Green Door Store, like the Hope and Ruin that are willing to put on young bands, inexperienced bands, and let them develop and become so good. But we constantly seem to be fighting a battle in Brighton against music venues from housing developments that are trying their best to pop up all over the city. And the latest one is the uh, is the Prince Albert. Now the Prince Albert, if you don't know, is a fantastic little venue. Um, it's a little live venue that's pr probably 300 max capacity, um, but it's it it gives young artists the opportunity to be able to play. We have uh, the music college here in Brighton, uh, BIMS, which is one of the best in the country, fantastic. You can even see on their website there, the Hope and Ruin, they're, they're showcasing the Hope and Ruin as a, as a venue that young bands can come and play. And we've had so many great bands come out of Brighton, Architects, Royal Blood, uh, Yanaka, Fur, Black Honey, the li this is it. so many great bands have come out of Brighton because we have an abundance of music venues that, where they're able to uh, hone their craft and become great. And if you're a resident of Brighton and if you visit Brighton, it's one of the greatest things about the city. But like I say, it's permanently under threat from housing developments. Last year we had, um, it was the Hope and Ruin that we had to petition for because they wanted to build flats right next door. And the problem with these flat developments, you think, well, what's the problem? But when you do a flat development right next to a music venue, suddenly curfews get imposed on the venue, they have to stop loud music at nine o'clock, noise pollution, and they end up, they're unable to play music anymore. We saw it in Brighton a few years back with Sticky Mike's Frog Bar, it was a fantastic, great name. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a fantastic pub and a great venue and so many great bands I think even Royal Blood and Architects have played there they've played Prince Albert they've played, they've played lots but they had to close down because they were under threat from a housing development next door and they knew that they were going to be stuck with curfews for music and things like that and the Prince Albert is the latest one now Prince Albert is um, located like a lot of these right next to Brighton Station uh, you have the Prince Albert right here um, let's jump in actually uh, but yeah the Hope and Ruin is another one that's that's very very close to Brighton, uh, Brighton Station so you have the, the Green Door Store is right here which is another small music venue but this is the Prince Albert pub it's very famous so the station is right up the top there um, you know Brighton Station is right here it's only a, t a tiny little walk uh, to uh, the Prince Albert go underneath the bridge and you're there Ooh, I'm going upside down I'm getting dizzy yeah, it's most famous for this wall that it has here, and it has the famous um, Banksy picture of the kissing coppers. I don't think that's the original. I think the original actually got stolen, but they put this one up here. Um, but this whole area here is looking to be developed with, with flats. And, you know, don't be under any illusions. These are not social housing and affordable. These are luxury flats that will be selling for an absolute fortune because of its location right next to Brighton Station. London is 45 minutes on the train luxury flats here will cost an absolute fortune five minute walk up to the station and you're there um, but this is the latest fight and, and this is what I'm calling out for you guys if you could possibly go on to change.org I'll put the um, the uh, description down uh, the link down below and uh, just two minutes of your time just a quick description the music scene in Brighton is so important and if housing developments are put right next to one of these iconic iconic music venues it will disrupt the culture of the city and, it, and it's so true and this is the thing I understand that people want to move to Brighton because it's a great city to live in it really is and I understand that more flats need to be built but what's the point of just having a city that is just flats I mean if you take away the heart of the city which this is these music venues are 
the heartbeat of the city. And if you take that away, what are you left with? Some restaurants and some flats. But yeah, if you've got a couple of minutes, guys, and if you feel for the cause that I'm, I'm talking about here, uh, if you feel that, you know, it's, it's something, I, I don't want you to go on and, and sign this petition if it's something you don't care about, but if you think these sort of things are important to a city and to grassroots music, culture, uh, like I say, you just end up with a void city. Um, but yeah, there's my shameless plug. <laughs> but I think these things are important. And uh, we've already started seeing it with Sticky Mike's Frog Bar a couple of years ago. We tried to fight for the Hope and Ruin last year, and now the Prince Albert. Uh, more and more of these iconic venues are going to disappear, and we'll just be left with a dull and void city. And what's the point of even living in Brighton if you're not going to have these amazing music venues? Till next time, if you, uh, if you like the video, like it. If you uh, want to subscribe, you can see more videos up top as well. I really appreciate your time, guys. Thank you so much.